Greetings from the World Health Organization in Geneva. WHO welcomes the entry into force of the TRIPS Amendment on public health as an additional legal pathway for access to medicines, specifically in countries that have no domestic pharmaceutical manufacturing capacity. Implementation of this added feasibility was identified as a point of action in the 2008 WHO Global Strategy and Plan of Action on Public Health, Innovation and Intellectual Property. This entry into force marks the first amendment to any of the WTO multilateral trade agreements since their adoption in 1994. As such, it reinforces the importance of health in the formulation of international trade policies. Like the Big Joe, the UN Secretary General's high-level panel on access to medicines stresses the right of all countries to use TRIPS flexibilities. We are a long way from reaching global equity in access to essential medicines, especially at a time when the costs of some new treatments are unsustainable, even in the richest countries in the world. The factors that stand in the way of universal access to affordable patent and off-patent medicines are multiple and interrelated in complex ways. Taking full advantage of TRIPS flex flexibilities is important, but not enough to address these complexities. In this era of sustainable development, WHO and its partners are working to improve manufacturing capacity for pharmaceuticals in the developing world, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. We are also deeply engaged in finding a model for the fair pricing of pharmaceuticals. As we move towards these objectives, we look forward to further collaboration with WTO, WIPO, UNDP, UNTAC, UNAIDS, and many others. Thank you.